is what I'm replacing. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have my wife's car here. It's a 2016 Kia Optima. I don't know if you can see that in there, but her door for the rear is showing open. So if I was to open this, see the driver's side's now open. Now it's closed, but the rear one is not uh, showing uh, closed. But as you can tell, it is closed. So I am going to show you how to replace something. Actually, let me unlock the door. I thought it was unlocked. So what it is, is I got to replace the actuator inside right here. This thing when it closes, it sends a signal saying that it's closed. And when it's, uh, obviously the door's open, it opens that circuit. So it says that the door's open. So I gotta take the door panel off. And once I get the door panel off and uh, whatnot, I will get to that point. One thing I did wanna show you is, I don't see, now the door, see? I don't know if you saw that, it kind of glitched. But I want to show you this real quick. Is if you take pretty much something that can fit inside there. So I'm going to show you. So as you can tell, the driver's side's open. And when I put this in there and close it, closes it come on get away but the door is open as you can tell my driver's side door is open so I just closed that little lip but if you were to open the handle and it opens then it shows open down back there so anyways, so I know that it's the mechanism inside. There's gonna be a screw behind here and one in the cup holder, or not the cup holder, sorry, the where you put your hand to close the door. So I will get to that point and I'll be back. This is the piece, I went and grabbed it. This is what I'm replacing. So this fits inside there, like this, like so. And then, see where it's coming out right here? There's that piece, and there's the new piece, just like those those guys right there. I don't know if you can see that; it's kind of bad lining. But anyways, uh, I've got a. Looks like I got a pull this panel off to get to it uh, looks like these are probably just like 10 millimeters so I'm gonna go and pull those off and I'll be back all right guys so I got this off what I wanted to show you is there's a little plug it's right there see that little plug right here so what that little plug is so it's this piece So it's plugged up like that. So what you need to do, is you need to pull that piece off and you need to adjust the window to where you can get a, a screw. That's right there. And the screw, I can find it. Looks like that. And what it does is it hooks, it's the screw that goes right in here and it's right, connects to the window. So your window can go up and down. So that's your window right there. But anyways, this screw go, screws inside here. And then you could take this plastic piece off. So I got all the screws, all the 10 millimeters off. But in order to take this completely off, you have to 
unplug it so you can see where it's the, the screw is right there it's right here and that's what it screws into anyways wanted to show that to you and the piece that i'm going for is let me see if I get a light in there uh, why is my light not working so the piece is right there so i'm gonna pull that off right now and go to that point all right guys i wanted to show you this real quick so you have this piece this piece fits if i can show you like right inside here and it uh connects right here so see that it's like inside so in this hole there's a screw that goes right here so this is up inside up inside here this screw right here goes in this piece right here so it just sticks out so you're just going to take the nuts off and you're going to move remove this out of the way and then once you remove that out of the way what ear so as you can tell i got it i got it off now but what i wanted to show you is you got your little heck a little torque bits that's what's holding the the piece on so you're gonna remove those and then one thing you gotta remember so you gotta pull this piece off let me see if i can find it sorry my flashlight died but you got that piece right here it's the end it's this guy it's on the end of your handle uh there is a screw a bolt on that i didn't see it and i damaged the car but it goes it's right inside here and it's just a little 10 millimeter and it has a cap on it and the cap's hard plastic like this that's the cap it's hard plastic it goes right there then what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove that 10 millimeter and then the handle here once you remove that the handle sitting like that once you remove that piece off it slides the handle slides forward you're gonna have to slide it and just move it out you got the little hook right here so I wanted to show that to you real quick but uh it wasn't it wasn't hard you got one one screw that goes right here and it was where is it oh, it's so dark anyways it's in there it's a black screw i can't miss it but as soon as you drop that down because what was going on is i could not get to this piece could not get to this piece right here so that piece comes up and around got your new piece so that's the handle to open and close the door so I needed to take the handle off so I could get to this piece right here to loosen that to take this off so i'm going to get to that point so i'm going to get the new one on to this and then i'll be back oh one other thing that i didn't notice or that i did notice but you'll need to don't worry about disconnecting this piece from here because uh, once you get the handle off the whole assembly comes out i will show you that so don't worry about getting to this piece get the handle off and uh then this piece just falls out so i'll get to that i'll put this on here and i'll be back okay i got the new one on so there's that so that's installed and i looped it and it goes inside here snaps inside here 
it just fits right in there as you can see it's just really easy to get off you can't screw it up anyways uh so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put it right back up in there uh it's just hard i'm just by myself so just wanted to try to show you step by step but it's really simple there's that screw that holds that back piece on for the handle so you got the handle that fits like this so the handle fits in like that so that's on obviously on the outside so anyways so what I will do is I will get this back up in there I'll get these uh, uh, torque drivers in and uh, I'll get to that point so I'll place it up in there put that on so it won't move and I'll be back all right guys got it installed it goes up in there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the handle and get the handle installed Just just like that. I'm gonna have to super glue that piece to fix it because I broke it. Because when I pulled it off, I didn't notice it. So I'll show you. So when I pulled it off, the piece that it screws into broke off. So anyways, so see how a little piece of it's busted. Anyways, you don't want to do that. So my wife's going to be sad. But the good thing is, is I could put the whole door together and it not be in the way because it's just right here. So as you can tell, there's, there's the bolt right there. And so now what's, uh, what's next is I have this. So anyways, that's how, okay. So make sure I actually just forgot. I got ahead of myself, but make sure you get that black bolt back in. And then you just slide it in like this and then just goes forward so now it's on so now start doing is getting this piece put back in now so now I can put this piece in so what this is gonna do is let's see if I could get some light over here This is, this is gonna come up here. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You've got the, you've got the window up in there. I don't know where the heck, there it is, there's the camera. Fit it right up in there. So, you have the bolt, this bolt that's going to go right up there, right in there, and then right on top of that. So, let me, this one goes right here. Anyways. Well, I'll get those on. Uh, it's hard to do it by with one hand. I'll be back. All right, guys, got it in. So now the window has a track. There was a little plastic piece. I don't know if it's sticky enough to stick back on there, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, then now pull this down. The window can come down. I just gotta line this back up with this piece right here. 
and that's what's hooked to the motor so to recap you put that piece back on so you install the new one right there with the torque bits get the panel on handle anyways just watch it in reverse so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get this piece back on so this piece is going to come down like this and then your new cables need to come through here so we've got the new cables through not a pain in the butt do it with one hand so anyways i'm gonna be back i'm gonna pull that through you got the connection right here so make sure you connect that or you're gonna be wondering why your door doesn't work listen for that click and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this pulled through if i can oh, look there we go So, and you can't really see down there, but I'm going to push that in, let's see, okay, let's see if you can see that, see how the black and then the white, so I got to push the window down. The window will sit inside there. Just hope I can. Looks like it's lined up pretty good. So now what I gotta try to do is get the bolt back in. It's the longer one right there. It's the longer one. So I'm gonna try to get that put back in and I'll show you as soon as I come back. All right guys, got that uh, installed down in there. And then now that I got that installed, it's real easy to just push this back on. And now would probably be a good time to hook up the door back up, get the, the window windows to open or to work. That gives the indication that it up and down, make sure that works and then the sensor's hooked up, so I'm going to see if that goes away. So I'm going to go to that part, and I'll be back. All right, guys, I wanted to show you. Uh, the light did go off, so there's nothing on the dash anymore. The door is open, but I locked it, and it won't unlock with pulling the handle. So I don't know if the door's locked or what, but it's not unlocking. Oh, there it goes. So now the door is open. Let me zoom in. So the back door is open. And if I was to take the screwdriver, let me zoom, let me zoom back in for you guys. So I'm just taking that screwdriver and I'm just shoving it in there to close it. in the butt. There it is. It's off. And I'm going to pull the handle. It's open. Sweet. Okay, guys, now that I checked that and made sure it works, what I did now is I just put all the bolts back in. Uh, it's just plastic, so it's not super tight to work or anything. So I just snugged them down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on and connect that as well. So and that was really easy to connect. Uh, 
it's going to be hard to do it with one hand so i will not do it with one hand but i will yeah let's see let's see let me uh, no i can't because i got to hook up this so i'm going to hook that up don't forget to hook that up that's for your door lock and then i'll hook that up and then i'll come back okay awesome i have it back hooked up right like that i wish you could see that but remember it's just that little lip that little clip right here then push it in it shuts and then you're gonna come up and it's gonna you gotta like cradle it in the top where the glass is if i can get it ah oh, it's a pain above with just one hand so it cradles inside so there's a little lip you can push it down and then just gonna push all the pieces in right on guys okay so don't forget to put that piece back in put the door back so the door's on so now what i got left to do is put that piece in that bolt in but what i wanted to show you is this so shows the door open so there's the door open and here's the door closed so now it's closed now it's open so that fixed the problem uh the part i had to get from the dealer it was 140 dollars uh, but it seemed to fix the problem and so anyways hope you like my video please subscribe and uh more to come